I want to talk about the Republican health care plan and how it is targeting Planned Parenthood funding by cutting federal funds for any organization that provides abortions except in the case of rape, incest, and if the mother's life is in danger. Cecile Richards is the president of Planned Parenthood and is here with me now. Uh, this seems to be aimed directly at Planned Parenthood. It is, and it's, it's directly aimed at American women. You know, one in five women in this country go to Planned Parenthood for health care. And I think what's really important, Andrea, because it hasn't been uh, explained well, we're not actually in the federal budget. What, what Paul Ryan is saying is that uh, the two and a half million patients who come to Planned Parenthood each year could no longer come to us to get preventive care, cancer screenings, birth control. And for many women, we're their only health care provider. And to, to be clear, for decades now, Federal money has not gone, uh, I, I don't think since the Hyde Amendment. That's correct. That that's correct. Federal money has not gone for abortions. It's that's walled exactly off. Right. And they raise I, money privately. That's exactly right. Federal funding doesn't go to abortion services at Planned Parenthood or anywhere else. We operate just like every hospital in America, every other health care provider. We simply get reimbursed for these, for these services. I was just in Speaker Ryan's own district where we see thousands of patients every year. His own hometown newspaper has come out against this bill, as has apparently every organization, it seems like, uh, in America. These are women who are desperately concerned that they're going to lose access to the basic health care services uh, that we provide. And I think one of the most important things is we're making such progress. We're very proud of the fact that we are at a historic all-time low for teenage pregnancy in the country, a 30-year low for unintended pregnancy, because finally women are getting better access to family planning services. The last thing we should do is end the ability of women to go to the health care provider that, that, helps, that helps them. What do you say to those, uh, Congressman Ryan and other critics, who say that money is fungible and that if you get this federal money for women's preventive care and health care, you can also use it to support your abortion services? Well, it's simply not true, and he knows this as, as well as anyone. Again, hospitals that provide abortion services, community health centers that provide abortion services, they are also, uh, they are also uh, reimbursed by the federal government for preventive care just like Planned Parenthood. This is a bill that is targeting Planned Parenthood. And so when I see that uh, Speaker Ryan is saying now we should have choice, everyone should be able to go to the health care provider of their choice, it seems that's true except for women in America and except for the two and a half million uh, patients who every year choose Planned Parenthood. Cecile Richards, thank you very much for being with us today. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.